dear viewers thank you for watching another video of my blazer playlist this video i'll be discussing how to use radio button in blazer application i'll be using visual studio 2022 this is my sample application this is the custom entry form uh, we can use this form to create a new customer here we can input first name last name email addresses mailing address for the purpose of this demonstration, I will add another input to specify gender of customer. I will be using radio buttons here. This is the bootstrap 5. Let's add 3 radio button over there. Name it gender. There are three options to choose a gender for a specific customer. A customer could be either male or female or other. So let's choose. Oh, we can choose everyone. Let's see. Okay, those are the name of the male gender is gender male gender female the way we implemented the radio buttons are the individual because the names are different to me to turn into groove we need to use a unique name here it should be gender Now it becomes group and we can choose only one. Okay. This is the native HTML approach to use the radio button group. This is the difficult way to work with the uh, Blazor application. In this video, I'm planning to discuss the Blazor way. Microsoft Blazor introduces input radio and input radio group to use radio button in Blazor application. This is the easiest way to work with radio button in Blazor application. To use input radio group in Blazor form, uh, it is required to use edit form component instead of the form. Edit form is the Blazor framework component and it defines uh, the form in a major application and the edit form component has a required property that is model so we need to define the model of a form edit form component so let's use the model for customer model let's take the customer model class here the customer model has id first name last name email gender id and mailing address property so So within this edit form component, we can add a Blazor component. So let's use so import that you grow. Bind value is required. And the property will be model dot customer ID. So 
Sorry, it's into idea. So first one is the mail and here the value. So here you can see the value is one. Okay. Let's go with the one. for female and three for other okay let's comment this code let's comment this code. okay now uh, this is working uh, there might have some design issues uh, we'll fix later uh, let's see what we I have done for this Basically, I added a edit form and edit form has a model property and there is an added input radio group within the radio group I'm using input radio and uh, I can make it um, uh, dynamic like this uh, I'll add a new model over there so name it gender model Okay, the model might have two property name, and another will be ID. Okay, in the customer to reserve CS file, I'll declare a list of gender gender model id name will be male female and third one of the other so it is two or it is three okay let's see so let's delete this two one new for is low this is the beauty of ledger Using C sharp for is item genders so so it could be item at ID and it will be item of M. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's check. Oh, sorry. Okay, 
Oke. Okay. Let's fix the uh, design issues. Here. This this is the bootstrap code over there. So I can input the class here. With the class CSS class. And us from chicken pot. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, use this one. and use the div here Now it looks like now it looks beautiful. 